as part of the ongoing sort of hopefully improvements to this bed I'm trying to put some new clamps on because what I had on is these washers and these tend to go on quite a bit of a slant and they do allow this top surface of this bed to move I have been trying this bed and I do have auto levelling set up just about I need a little bit more of adjustment on that and I had uh, hairspray glue stick on here but it doesn't seem to stick and I'll tell you what type of bed that is here okay but anyway I'm show you these clamps now I've got this idea basically of thingy verse and I will put a link in the description and on this video here if I can Zoom in. So here is the clamp as it pretty much it is now. See like a flat piece there that actually rests on this surface. And this is how the clamp sort of where just this sort of washer here on the board going through the two aluminium sheets at the bottom. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how I've made these. You might have to be careful that they don't scratch the surface, whatever you're doing. But you could file these down, I haven't bothered filing these down yet. So some care might have to still be taken. Okay, I'm going to show you how I made them. And this is what I'm using. Some sort of ring crimps, crimps sorry. These are the blue size, but you can get other sizes, I don't know if there's any advantage to, but you probably don't want too big a hole in for the ball. I'm using 4mm balls on this. Now to get this plastic off, it wasn't too hard, Oops. I just, I was trying to cut it off, but that was quite difficult, sorry about going out here. Just a second, there's something you have to be careful obviously, because you're going to be melting plastic to a certain extent and what I'm using is this cigarette lighter, well gas lighter thing not a very good one this and just warm it up, you're not going to burn it just warm it up a bit if I can get this to light as I say it's not very good a few seconds, try not to breathe in the fumes and generally with the Using still a bit tight that so I've got to warm it up a bit longer. And there you are, it's come off. See that's come off quite easily now. Allow it to cool. It shouldn't take too long to cool. But basically that's all you have to do is like warm it up a bit and then it should slide off. Check that for temperature, it applies that to get the heat more than this small part here. You might be able to get non-insulated ones actually, I think you can. Well I actually bought these to do some wiving with. But anyway, now it's open up this circle here that the cable would sort of go into and a pair of long nose pliers quite handy just put one prong in hold the flat bit quite firm and try and bend it out a bit get near the edge don't know what caused that click there then see that's starting to wind up there now so if this goes out of focus yeah. once you start getting it a bit wider you can concentrate a little bit more maybe 
using pliers again and grip it quite near to where the edge of the cable goes in there and spend trying to bend this edge over a bit it's very hard to keep this in the camera and likewise that other side so hope you can see that careful because it might be sharp as I say that's going to be the flat bit and once it gets bent a bit like this just get in the pliers and squeeze squeeze it quite firmly to flatten it Now this wants to be twisted at an angle, I think there tends to be a sharpish edge on here, so be careful you don't cut yourself. I say you can file that down, but basically we want to be bending this quite near there, near that edge, so that's going to go on top of the bed and maybe bend this just a little bit I think that's going to need a bit more bending on the top actually might be bet better to have a bit more bent than what you think you need as it goes on it will probably flatten itself out but you might have to readjust them as you go and it, sorry about that and then basically that just screws on and replaces this washer here yes now it can be a bit fiddly I'm not going to lie to you about that but I think it's going to be better than just a washer so I've took this one out this by hand to a large extent Turn it off. I would recommend that you do find these, really. I'm just I'm going to I think that's okay that's on there reasonably firm I still have the one to do at the back here and I think that will stop this plate sliding about but I probably want to replace this plate unless I figure out a way of well figure out a way of getting the plastic to actually adhere to it and that might be just a case of turning up the temperature this is a heat bed I've only added on about 50 PLA just testing auto leveling set up on here now using this capacitance sensor now what I did with that because I was flickering a bit I talk about that in my other videos I moved the sensor down almost as far as it would go on this bracket actually. I readjusted the trim pot to allow for that. So that the sensor is just about two or three millimeters, maybe four millimeters off the surface of the bed. Not much more than that. And I could loosen off the sensitivity a bit by doing that because it's closer. And I think that's resulted in, in more well better results so to speak now the auto leveling does seem to work so far as I can tell 
but I ha still haven't got plastic to stick to this at the moment. But I p will persevere if this bed doesn't work I do have another idea. As I say I'll talk about this bed down here. Well, here. Okay so that's a bit of an update. Just going to do the other one now. I won't bother showing you that, it's basically the same idea. 